Hi everyone, welcome back. This is J.S. Bray with Mr. Ray Labs and, uh, this is, and with Inklings Behind the Scenes. Um, another driving episode, day two of the conference, of the Think Media Conference. Um, you know, I woke up this morning tired and, and I'm sure that most people can handle this. Like, I, I just woke up really, really tired. And I think I got more sleep last night than I usually do. Have you ever done this? Have you ever had where, you know, you went to bed at a decent hour, you, you know, ate at a decent hour, you did all the, you prepared for all the right things to have a refreshed morning, and still you wake up just kind of just dragging. And I thought about this in, in the sense right now, it's like, I, I'm excited for this conference. Um, I'm looking forward to being there. I know that I'm going to meet new people. I, I met some really, really cool people last, um, yesterday. But uh, the one of the things that I, I know that I'm like particularly looking forward to is uh, it's just you know just being out there, new people, new, the new freshness, right? The freshness of each of a new day. But I did not wake up with the normal cup of uh, energy that I have. And I, I don't. I mean, yeah, I haven't had my cup of coffee, but I usually usually do a cup of coffee around eight o'clock. Uh, I like to have wait, wake up, settle my stomach. And then do a, co- a coffee. I like to ease into the day. This is not something that most parents get the opportunity um, to do. Like most parents, they just they just rip up, get ready for your day. Like my day starts very early. It usually starts about five o'clock. Um, I do my prayers. I get up. I get my son ready for school. Um, but I've been dragging a little more, just a little bit more tired than usual. And there is an interesting thing called a sleep debt. Um, and I just, I want to talk about why, um, wh- why this matters. So, <clears throat> uh, sleep debt is this concept, and I, and I do believe there's a significant amount of science behind this, but sleep debt is that you miss an hour here, an hour there, an hour here, and your, your body has sort of an internal clock that says it's been satisfied. It's like, okay, you've had enough sleep, you can go. Uh, but if you keep kind of shaving off those necessary uh, hours that you should be sleeping, Eventually, your body's going to say, "No, no, no! It's it's time for you to pay the pay the piper. It's time for you to pay that debt." And what happens uh, to people, and specifically, I think when people get a little older, uh, when you're young, you may not realize it. You may not feel the impacts of sleep debt as much when you're really young. Um, I think that babies, kids, they oftentimes don't realize that they're experiencing sleep debt. They're fussy, uh, agitated. Um, my son does this all the time where he's getting ready for bed and he will fall asleep fast, like really fast. I mean, my goodness, uh, he, he can sit there and I can just, you know, he'll sit in there. He usually nuzzles next to me. I mean, that's my favorite way when he, when we go into bed and he gets ready for bed, he goes in his room sometimes and just like goes to sleep. But oftentimes he'll snuggle up next to dad and we'll watch some cartoons or something of the sort. And uh, I'll kind of like, you know, kind of just play with his hair and just give him a kiss on the forehead. And then I'll look over and he's asleep. He's like totally asleep. And then I'll pick him up and put him in bed. And that, that's been sort of our ritual for a long time. Um, but oftentimes, when before he's ready to fall asleep, before he's wound down, he gets really kind of rowdy. He, he gets like, he wants to wrestle. He wants to wrestle the dog. He's ready to just bounce around. I mean, this kid wants to do jumping jacks. I mean, honey, it's time for bed. And for some reason, I think it has something to do with his desire to fight bedtime, to fight it. He just, it's like the day's not going to be over. No way. Not by, you know, like not without my, you know, um, you know, last ditch effort to, to seize the day. Um, and then finally, you know, of course he, he passes out, he goes to sleep and he wakes up, he wakes up. This is the thing. This boy blows my mind how much every single day I wake him up and give him a little kiss on the cheek. I said, I just comb his hair and he goes, and I said, you want some, che- you want some cereals or cereal for breakfast? And he always, eyes pop open. He's like, yes, dad. And he pops up and goes, takes his medicine and does his thing. And he just, he just gets up. But that sleep debt that he has when he's not realizing it turns him into kind of a, a monster, a little grumpy Gus. And, uh, and it's not just the bouncy stuff that he does. But it's also like it it makes him really moody. And my wife's like, gosh, she's like, oh, he's so mean right now. I was like, oh yeah, he's just tired. It's the cycle. He gets he gets that way. And he'll wake up and he oftentimes, because he's in such a good mood, 
if he's not in a good mood, he realizes, oh, I was a little too rude last night. But I, I, I'm a similar way. I think many, many of us are in a similar way. When we don't get enough sleep, uh, it makes us kind of grouchy. Uh, and we have to f- kind of like fight through a little bit of the normal. Like if, if it's normally for you, normal for you to smile, it's going to take not as much, like a little bit more normal energy than to get you to smile. And it's not that you're a mean person. It's just you're tired. You're just you're a little tired. And today, I, I've been thinking about my sleep debt. My sleep debt's coming. And you know the funny thing is, is that with my new son coming along, so my um, we are expecting, and Lord willing, he should be here really soon, within the next couple of weeks. Uh, the, the estimated of his arrival is in May, uh, mid-May. Um, and we'll see. We'll see when, once he once he comes here. Uh, I'm excited, but I know that my sleep debt is going to go really, really up. I'm going to miss out on a lot of sleep. Though, luckily, the adrenaline of being excited about new baby is going to counteract that. Uh, when you don't have all that adrenaline, you know, your your son, my son's nine right now. My other son's nine. Uh, you know, I know that he can get himself ready each morning. I do know. But I do know that there's a pattern, there's a ritual that we have and I get him up in the morning. I'm there with him. And then it makes me feel like some of those those golden moments where I can I have a pattern. He may not ever remember this, but it, it makes me feel like I get to be there as dad. And you know, if I don't see him, um, you know, if I don't see him, then perhaps at least I can go and like I can spend some time with him uh, and love on him uh, for the morning. So, anyways, uh, my point is that I'm a little tired today, and I'm thinking about sleep debt and. How do you experience sleep debt? Have you noticed your own sort of sleep debt um, that comes along? So anyways, I hope you're doing well. I'm so thank you so much for being part of this community. I look forward to chat with you later and you all have a blessed day.